Hey guys, I'm doing this. Kevin here, bringing you another video on information technology. So today, I want to go over a resume that was given to me by one of my colleagues that he has a lot of time or a lot of he's, he has a lot of experience in IT, and I just want to go over his resume real quick. I'm not gonna tell you who he is, but I'm gonna show you his resume. You can look at it. Um, I'm obviously I'm gonna put a link on on my um, Google Drive account. You could download it and look at it and see fit and do what we like to do with it. So this resume that he got actually got him a job working for um, the government. I'm not going to tell you who he is, but basically he got a job working for the government with this resume. And I took some of his resume and, and some of other people's resumes and I combined it and made it into my resume. So I'll show you what he has and I'll show you what just overall what, how it looks like and stuff like that. So this is this is going to be real, really good and interesting. Um, you're going to like it. So it's called Sample Resume. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you, um, you know, where he, where he is, where who's he from, where, where's he from, and stuff like that. So this is this isn't a resume of someone that actually has a, a, a bachelor's degree in information systems and stuff like that. He went to the University of Tennessee. Uh, we're going to go over this real quick. So this is his resume. His resume is two pages, and for me, in my personal experience, like two pages, is, it should be it's good. Like it should be more than enough. You shouldn't have three pages. That's that's just just too much. Um, depending where you work, depending what company you work for, and depending where you're what you're applying for, um, they have like these these systems that basically scan your resume, and it and they. The thing they get scanned mostly is, is looking for certification. So if it's like an entry level job, it'll scan it and it'll look for the A plus or network plus. Then you will see it here. Like it'll scan it on the it'll scan the system, and then you'll see it on the resume. Like it'll scan, you know, if that makes sense. So basically it this is it's a system that scans your resume and like there's some key terms and in terms and terminologies and words that it looks for. And basically it finds that and basically it you know, it's like, oh we have a match. And then oh we're gonna call this person because you know, he, his resume kind of relates to the job description or the job that we're trying to get someone to work for and stuff like that. So, um, this is, this is a resume that actually he, he is working, um, he's working for a, a, a really important job. I'm not going to tell you where, but basically he got a really good job with this resume. So the full name is up there, obviously, and you put your street address, your city, your zip code, your contact phone number, your email address, cause they, they need to know your number. They need to know where your email address is and they need to know how to contact you. So you have to put your information up there. It says, I am highly motivated, hardworking individual pursuing a professional career in the IT industry. I'm able to set and achieve short and long-term goals as demonstrated by my being as an Eagle Scout. I am a seeking, I am seeking a long-term position with an organization that promotes personal development and opportunities of professional growth. I enjoy assembly custom computer systems. I am highly proficient in troubleshooting desktops, laptops, server hardware, as well as the installation, operation, and maintenance operating systems and applications. I have designed and implemented both wired and wireless internet networks. I am confident I could be very successful in the TTU IT department. So he worked, he, he actually has education. He has a, he has a university background in Tennessee technology, technological university. Um, he has the A plus and network plus. Uh, let's look at his skills, in-depth knowledge of Microsoft XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, Server 2003, Server 2008, um, R2, Server 2012, R2, Enterprise on Mac OS X, VMware, ESXi, and Ubuntu. Experience with various softwares include Microsoft SQL Server, Outlook, Forensic Toolkit System, Center Configuration Manager, or SSCM. Um, System Center 2012, op, uh, Operation Manager, Lab Stats, um, Admin Studio, Install Shield, PowerShell, VMware, VMSphere, some experience with web design and web application development in ASP, experience with Active Directory, DNS, DCP, and various other server roles such as file share and printing services. Um, he is a system technician or a system engineer for... for um, the university or the school. He trains and assists IT staff and operations, um, installs the development of System Center 2012 operations and manager infrastructure. He writes PowerShell scripts to aid old daily operations of systems and to update older scripts and tools, um, play a key role in hardware analysis, 
design, procurement, development, and implementation of upgraded system center infrastructure on campus, both server side and client side, perform upgrades and re replacement of outdated or failed server hardware, install server install servers performing all functions necess necessarily to make them operation, including racking, wiring, installation of server operating systems. Um, as Assess daily the threat of, of machines infected with viruses on our campuses wide that are reported to the Central Antivirus Management. Endpoint with SSCM 2012, alert the appropriate staff members responsible so they can remedy the infected machine. Uh, continue performing all duties of my previous position of IT technician. So he's also an IT technician for the school. Um, he has some restaurant experience. So obviously if you, if you have... I mean, they won't they won't look at this as much, but at least you could say you have some sort of um, experience somewhere, and I that's not IT related. But you have you worked somewhere, you done something besides IT. You actually have some sort of work experience. So um, if you have no experience, I would put my my um, my experience of restaurant or whatever on the resume, just to show you actually have something. You know, you're not you're not just you know you're not you're not just uh, you're not you're not just a guy that that has or a girl that has no experience of nothing. So you, he put his restaurant experience there. Um, he was working in a restaurant, a Korean restaurant, Stingray Reef Office Max Sales Associate, um, and then he put his references in the bottom. So you put all your references in the bottom. Sometimes some companies might want to ask for references or might want to want to see your references on your resume. Every company is different, but it depends on the company. And you put their reference phone number, their email address. Um, their name, what position they worked, and stuff like that. I'm obviously going to make a link for this, and then you can look at it. Um, do as you see fit with this resume. Um, just click a mirror or copy or, or make it similar to, to your resume. Hopefully this helps you out. And hopefully it, 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 it basically gives you some sort of understanding of how your resume should look. Um, maybe you're working on your resume. Maybe you're applying for a job and no one's calling you. Maybe you'll have no experience at all. Or maybe you'll know how to implement your resume in a certain way that basically gives you more hits on Indeed or Craigslist or Dice.com or Monster.com or any of those websites. Basically, I'm going to put this in the link below on my description and you can look at it. And my, my friend now, he's not working for the school system right now. Now he works for, um, he works for a government job. So this is like one of his, this is like an entry level resume. This is a resume that he used to get his, his other jobs. And then after that, he worked for the government. So I wanted to show you his resume. He has A plus and network plus, and he has, he renewed them already. He, he still has A plus and network plus, and he has security plus now, because he works for the, for um, Washington DC, he works for the government now. So I just wanted to show you his resume. And I want to show you what, what, an, what an, an example of a decent resume or a good resume. This is an example of a really good resume. I took some of his stuff and I incorporated it on my resume. And actually that's how I made a hundred, over a hundred K is because I took some of his resume and a few other resumes and I combined them together and I made it into one resume. And then people people are always calling me and asking me if I want to get a job here, there, and there, you know. Right now, I'm not looking for a job, but basically, yeah, the, you have to have a good, solid foundation, a solid resume. And this is an example of a good resume. So this is something I want you guys to look at, um, learn from it, see, what, see what's good for you, see what's bad for you, see what you want to get rid of, see what you want to remove from your resume. Obviously, you have certifications. You want to put them up there. He put them up there. That's the, that's the way he has it set up. Mine, I put them all the way in the bottom. If you looked at my resume, I'll put a description here below. I'll put a video here on my resume that made over 100K. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. I wanted to just show you this real quick. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or... Maybe you want me to look at your resume and maybe I'll give you some suggestions. I mean, I'm not the best resume guy in the world, but I could definitely help you out if you need help with that or you need some sort of career advice. I'm here to help you. Um, I'm not going to charge you anything. Just let me know. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Rate, comment, subscribe, and happy Sunday. Take care.